how to make Namura. You don't need lots of ingredients to make this recipe. First you must make the syrup with 375 milliliters of water, 650 grams of granulated sugar and the juice of a lemon. The rest of the ingredients you'll need are 115 grams of soft butter, 400 grams of semolina, 250 grams of plain yogurt, one and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder and a handful of peeled almonds. So the first thing you need to do is make the syrup. So add all of the sugar to a pan then add the water and then strain the lemon juice into the pan. Stir to dissolve the sugar, bringing the liquid to a boil, then turn it down to a simmer and let it cook for about 10 minutes. In a separate bowl, combine your semolina, the baking powder, the yogurt and most of the soft butter. And you'll also need to add about half of the syrup that you've just made. So combine that into the bowl as well and then stir the mixture together. Don't beat it, but just mix it all in well. When this is done, take your baking tin or your cake tray and make sure that it's well greased with the rest of the butter. When this is done, spoon in the Namura mixture into the cake tin and flatten it down with a spoon. It may help to sprinkle a few drops of water over the top just to help you flatten it down. So now you need to lightly mark the surface of the cake mixture with a knife into one and a half inch squares, not cutting right into it. Next, place an almond in the center of each square, then bake for 35 to 40 minutes. Remove from the oven and cut right through where your knife marks are. After this, return to the oven and bake for 25 to 30 minutes until golden brown. Once it's cooked, leave it to cool for a few minutes, then pour the rest of the syrup over the namura. If you don't want such a sticky cake, just reserve some of the syrup for a later recipe. Enjoy this simple and delicious dessert.